Hello friends, welcome back to another video finally on the channel. I hope you're all doing great. We are back today with some Pokemon news. We've got stuff on Pokemon BDSP, PLA and Pokemon Home compatibility. At least we've got some hints and rumors indicating that we're going to get it soon. So let's jump straight into it. But we've got a flurry of news today to cover. Stick around to the end. There's events going on this weekend as well that you can take part in. But we'll start off with the Pokemon Home information so as you can see over on twitter earlier today centro leaks uh, have advised they've said they've received some exclusive information about upcoming pokemon home update i've been out of youtube for at least two months because of a house move and then getting everything sorted and set up so that's why we've had no content on the channel but i would have thought we would have had pokemon home by now but it looks like it is finally kind of coming Hopefully it is anyway. So with these updates, still no release date yet. Uh, Game Freak ILCA have made good progress, but the update just isn't ready yet. Pokeballs from Hisui will be recognized natively and shown in Pokemon Home. So that's quite good. So the, the Pokeballs that we get from the Hisui region from Pokemon Legends Arceus will be recognizable in Pokemon Home. So it's not all bad news and uh, then we've got more information when transferring a pokemon from pokemon legends Arceus to any other game uh, all its moves will be deleted and replaced with the standard move set at the level for the destination game so that's kind of self-explanatory we're not going to get these kind of new moves from pokemon legends Arceus kind of crossing over into bdsp or to sword and shield if that compatibility is there um you would imagine that's kind of the the the, the kind of thing that they would do anyway uh, the thing is though what they have mentioned is if a pokemon is transferred back to the the kind of home game where it's kind of come from then it's a normal move set will be restored so that's quite good uh, same thing when transferring a pokemon from from bdsp as well so that that makes sense pokemon go uh, can be moved to sword and shield bdsp and pla which is quite interesting um, and then so far there doesn't seem to be any other limitations regarding trading between Pokemon Legends Arceus, Brilliant Diamond Chain and Pearl and Sword and Shield, only that the Pokemon has to exist in the target game. So for instance, we're not going to be able to transfer any of the Hisui region Pokemon into Brilliant Diamond Chain and Pearl or Sword and Shield, but you'll be able to transfer them into Pokemon Home. So that is good news. Obviously, this is all rumor at the minute nothing is being confirmed but these are some decent sources so probably i would say more believable than just your general rumors that are just flying around i would say there's probably a good sourcing behind these uh regarding alpha pokemon now according to this uh disclaimer the update is still in development this could change however as of current build if a pokemon is an alpha or not just isn't displayed at all in pokemon home weight height should be reverted to normal once transferring to games there is movement there there is kind of these rumors kind of coming out at the minute as it says there obviously nothing has been confirmed and i would say don't Put your money on this being true. Things can change. Things are in development as it is. But the positives to take away from it are there could be some truth behind it. And at the base of it, it does sound like Pokemon Home will be on its way very soon. Right, next up. So that is good news coming soon and as soon as it does make sure you do subscribe to the channel because we'll cover all the information about pokemon home compatibility with all the pokemon games that we have currently at the moment uh, as soon as that does drop other news this weekend it is going to be as of recording this video the weekend coming up is going to be friday the 6th to the 7th and 8th of may we are going to have a, a global challenge international challenge running online in the pokemon sword and shield game so you can register right now you've got one day as of recording this video signups do close on the 5th of may um, at 4 59 pm ptd time so make sure you do register if you are wanting to compete this weekend uh, you're going to be able to play 15 games per day on the Friday, the Saturday and the Sunday. So 45 games in total and you'll be kind of ranked at the end of it. Unlike the previous three international challenges that have run, there will not be a shiny Pokemon giveaway 
for competing in this event. But there will be championship points up for the top placing players. And it is also a good place to practice Series 12 as well if you are currently playing in the competitive scene. Um, as well as that, it is a Japan National Championship qualifying event. So you'll have a lot of serious Japanese players uh, taking part in the event. So like I say, good time to practice. So if you want to register, you need to go into your game of uh, Sword and Shield, uh, open your menu, go into the, the Versus section, and then go to Battle Stadium, obviously online competitions, and then search official uh, competitions. You'll have till the 5th of May, which is tomorrow as of recording this video. Um, and then you'll be able to uh, register and then you'll be able to take part in the tournament, which is running this coming weekend. So there you go. And after the competition, obviously, if you play three battles, you'll qualify for the, the Battle Stadium rewards. Uh, you can go in after the event and uh, claim them through the mystery gift section and uh, get Battle Stadium rewards. Other news, there is regionals happening and special events happening this weekend. There is a special event happening in Bilbao. There will be a stream for that, courtesy of Victory Rod running the stream this weekend. Uh, we do have a cast of Jimmy Boyd, we have Costa and Lou as well are casting the event. So uh, if you want to catch that, it's twitch.tv forward slash victory rod vgc so you can watch that all the events over the weekend great group of casters for that event it'll be a lot of fun and then the other event in the state is indianapolis regionals um and that is an official pokemon stream and you're gonna have cybertron which is aaron uh, adam does and gabby and joe brown um so uh, that is going to be on twitch.tv forward slash pokemon you can catch all the action this weekend from those two events and this is just a bit more about the Indianapolis regional stream. So there's plenty going on this weekend. Um, and if there's anything else drops in the meantime, before or just after the weekend, we'll cover it as we go forward. But I thought it was worth doing a video. It's been a little while since I've done anything on the channel. Um, obviously with moving house and things like that, haven't been able to do anything. So it's nice to kind of jump in and potentially get some positive news about Pokemon Home, which seems to be taking ages to kind of come out, but be well worth the wait. And if we can, at the base of it, have Alpha Pokemon transferred over into Pokemon Home and then be recognized so we can transfer those on to potentially Generation 9, Scarlet Violet when they drop, that will be amazing. So let me know your thoughts. Are you hopeful? Do you think this is gonna happen? I think it will happen. I think that will pretty much what we're seeing from Central Leaks is probably more than likely going to happen but like i say take it with a, a grain of salt at the minute because nothing is confirmed it is all just conjecture at the minute but as soon as we do get that official confirmation which hopefully will be soon we'll drop it on the channel if you are taking part in the international challenge this weekend have a lot of fun with it and if anyone watching this is taking part in the regionals that are happening over the weekend and the special event in europe enjoy it hope you have a good tournament and we'll cover the results and things next week potentially on the channel so thank you so much for tuning in friends stay tuned because we will have more pokemon news coming very soon and uh, this is a very quick one but i just wanted to cover a few things that have been dropping today which are kind of of a little bit of interest so until the next one friends take care of yourselves and bye bye